fishing game uh, with the help from Kathy Kilroy of Niwa first discovered Didimo back in 2004 on the lower Waiau River. So Southland Fishing Game continues to work closely with MPI, Ministry of Primary Industries, to monitor Didimo throughout Fiordland and it's only still found in a handful of places throughout Fiordland so not only does that mean that the check clean dry campaign and habit that people have been using has been effective but we can still keep Didymo out of Fiordland for years to come. Anglers visiting should make sure they get a clean gas certificate if they want to head out into Fiordland. Any other uh, freshwater users, trampers, swimmers, if you're swimming in the lake or walking through the lake, make sure you don't take the lake up the river, any rivers here in Fiordland. Make sure you dry all your equipment before you head inland or bring yourself a cleaning solution to clean all your equipment. Uh, so Doc, generally give us 18 to 20 sites a year that we have to uh, sample right throughout Fiordland and it's my job to get them all sampled by the time summer's over. Early on in the season there's not much sun about so Didymo isn't blooming but by the end of summer we're getting, um, if there is Didymo in the river we'll, we'll find it through our samples we take. So the basic idea behind sampling is to catch Didymo cells whether in the uh, drift net that we use or we um, undertake rock scraping so Didymo cells can attach to the rock, we scrape it off, get sent away to um, Hill Labs and yeah, they process the samples and try to identify any Didymo cells that might be present. And there's also the check clean dry stations which people can use to clean their equipment if they are f f going fishing or tramping or heading upstream. want to remind people that these freshwater pests go where we go so we really want to look out after our fantastic fishery here in Fiordland and just the scenery too and the natural values that are here and I just urge people to take two seconds to do their bit.